Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for tonight's uh, City of San Luis Affordable Rental Opportunities. Um, my name is Danielle. I'll be your, your host tonight. We're letting everybody kind of log in right now. So we're, we, we're still a little early. We will be starting shortly around 6, 602, just to let everybody kind of log in for those that are joining us. So we'll be starting around 602. We're just going to give some time for everybody to log in and then we'll be getting started shortly. Thank you for, thank you everyone for joining us tonight. For those that just are joining us right now, um, we're just going to give a few more minutes. We're going to give until about, we'll start about 6.02. People are still logging in at the moment. Um, my name's Danielle. I'll be presenting for you tonight. I'm actually the customer service manager, um, as well as I teach the orientations. Um, and we have some of our house keys team members here with us that will be answering some questions throughout the process. And so guest special guests with us as well so we'll we'll be getting started around 602 just to give a little more time just as everyone's still logging in right now Okay, we still have some people logging in, but we'll be getting started. Hi again, my name is Danielle Bellatori. I am the uh, customer service manager as well as I also teach all the orientations that we provide here at House Keys. Um, with me tonight, I do have Sabrina, who is our program manager for multifamily units, and Anastasia, which is our compliance underwriter. So we're very lucky to have them with us that will be helping and answering some of your questions tonight in our Q&A section. Also tonight we have with us is Haley and London who will be talking to us a little bit more about the summit, which is the property that we're, we'll be speaking about tonight and giving some a little more information. So again, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. So let's get started. A little bit of a housekeeping, please. You're not able to use the chat feature tonight. So if you have any questions, please put them down here. It's listed down here in our Q&A um, button. And, and one of our team members, our house keys team members, will be able to answer your questions throughout the presentation. So just keep in mind, just keeping your questions in our Q&A section for tonight. So we're able to track and answer your questions for you. Let me, here we go. This is what we're going to be learning today, y'all. We're going to go, what is house keys and what we do, understanding some key terms that we utilize, understanding the process and documentation, getting really familiar with myhousekeys.com, 
in House Keys 19, which is an information site for the city of San Luis Obispo. I'm also understanding what affordable program, what is meant by affordable. We're gonna see what does House Keys determine if you're program eligible and if you're eligible for housing, affordable housing. So we're gonna go through those little process to understand a little bit more. And right now the open opportunities that we're gonna be having that will be opening up tomorrow will be for the summit. So we'll be going over some amazing um, information and everything that we have for the summit. So we're gonna look at some pictures and, and know what all the wonderful amenities they have to offer and what is going to be available since it's opening up tomorrow. House keys, who are we and what do we do? We're gonna go over some of the key terms for you to know again, like I said, the process and documentation just to get very familiar. Let's get familiar with things. So house keys is a program administrator for the city of San Luis Obispo. As you can see, we represent a variety of different cities, different regions, um, and different counties throughout California. So we're just the program that we administer for the city, and we will be underwriting their files and helping with affordable housing. So this is the House Keys team rental team. So we have our program manager, which is Julius Nyanda. He's the oversight of over the whole program. Uh, an organization. We also, there's Candice Testa, who is a director of multifamily um, division. And Sabrina, that we're very lucky to have with us tonight, is the ma um, program manager for the multifamily. Um, she's making sure multifamily rentals, regulatory compliances. And Kimberly, who is our program eligibility coordinator. Anastasia Davis, who's with us tonight, is also, we're very lucky to have her, who is our compliance underwriter. And you have me here tonight. I am Danielle Bellatori. I am the customer service manager. So I manage all your service questions that I can help you and assist you with as well as I run all of our orientations and our FAQ sessions that we host every Friday at noon and every other Saturday at 10 a.m. so we can further answer any questions you may have. And then we have Mandy, um, who is our program operations manager. Um, she's the one that, you know, workflow design agency onboarding, getting everything going. Just a little overview of our rental team here. So let's go over some key terms because you'll be hearing me use these terms throughout tonight. So have an idea and we will send this deck out to you um, within the next two days so you can have it. You'll have these terms with you for, for yourselves. So what we're talking about affordable. Um, so affordable is like no more than 30% of your household gross monthly income is being spent in your housing payment. This is how standards are going to be set that drives all the housing policies. It's going to be towards those income limits. Now, when we're talking about income, it's going to be your gross earned income, which is before taxes, and any amount that's included of assets. Assets can include up to 2.5% of all liquid amounts above 5000 certain retirement accounts might be excluded. The reason is, is because we're projecting your income for the next 12 months. So we're gonna look ahead. So this is how we're looking at your income and making sure that you're below an income limit, which we're gonna go in a little more detail right now. Um, this is all derived by HUD. So HUD is the housing and urban development. They're the ones that are responsible for the national policy and the programs that are just the America's housing needs. Um, to improve the development of nation communities and enforce fair housing laws. So they'll set out the limits, then the limits will go down to the state and which is what the limits that we use um, for our for the income limits, which is the median income. So you'll hear this AMI, you'll see it on our websites. You're gonna see that it's 120% AMI, 50% AMI, 80%, what does that mean? So the area median income is what it stands for. That means that 50% of all the income is gonna be above the area medium and 50% is gonna be below. It is not the average. And these are the income limits that are gonna drive these income categories. There's acutely low, which is up to 15%, extremely low that goes up to 30%, and then very low that's up to 50%. Then you have low that goes up to 80%. And then we also have moderate that goes up to 120% of the area median income. 
thing you hear is talking about being eligible. So you hear the word because that's what House Keys does. We are determining if you're eligible for the program. What does that mean? We're looking at your household size and total income if they're within those income categories. And this is just making sure that we're um, holding to the local zoning policies that are targeting the households. Now, when you're looking at being qualified, which is what the property is going to determine if you're qualified, the applicant earns enough to successfully make a housing payment. Um, it's to ensure the tenants qualify for the project they wish to reside in. So is that you're making enough to successfully make that housing payment. So that's how they're going to determine if you qualify for the program. So we determine if you're eligible, they will determine if you're qualified. Now these terms are more what we utilize here at House Keys. So you'll hear about an application ID. Um, this is very important because this application ID number, which will go later on to my House Keys, and I'll show you what that is. The application IDs will show you where your ranking is, is a ID that you'll put on your application. Um, it's what it attaches the applicant to the program and is gonna provide you what opportunities and their, through their drawings or what's available, depending on the, with the program that you're looking for, especially if you're looking at San Luis Obispo. Um, it's to ensure the households can apply for opportunities and receive up-to-date information. So when you apply is where we'll be sending information to you. One key thing when you do create a My House Keys account is making sure that email address that you do use to create it, um, is an email that you utilize and maintain because that will be also the way the property will communicate with you because through that email address as well as the email address that we'll be sending information to you with. Now what is an opportunity? That's going to be a listing that's a unit that's available for rent. Um, it's going to be classified as by resource price, income category, the requirements. It also allows house keys to be able to provide more details to the public. And then you have your drawing, which will be opening it up tomorrow, which is a grouping that might contain one or more available opportunities. And it's just to connect applicants with the specific opportunities that's separate from the applicant pool. So the specific that you know, there could be different drawings in the city and there might be specific opportunities that you're looking, that's why the drawing will be specific. Now the selection process. So the selection process is gonna be, it's a random number that's assigned to the applicants. If the city has a preference, and we'll go over what the city preferences are, that will be applied to break the tiebreaker. The original ranking will be the tiebreaker. We understand that we're always going to have more applicants than homes available. So we want to be very transparent in the fair selection process. Now, once the preference, which is most cities will have that you live in the city or work in the city preference, is typically what we'll see. Um, that will give priority to the applicants that meet those preferences, and that determines what the actual final selection order is. Now we go into having a file. So you're here is, do you have your file ready, setting up your file? That's going to be the verifiable evidence that the applicant is eligible um, and your qualification documentation. That's going to be the information to prove that you're eligible for the program and what you're qualifying for the program. A lot of terms. So this is going to be a little bit of a process on overview what you know and required documentation. So the first step is of course we'll go to my housekeys.com account. Before I get started, let's take a little poll. And how many here? Okay, if you can answer the poll. Um, how many already have a My House Keys account? Okay, so the majority of all of you, I'm so proud everyone is pretty much participating tonight. So we have 91% for today. Awesome, y'all. So most of you don't have your My House Keys account. I will go through the process. If we need a little more assistance on creating your account, 
I do welcome you to come to an FAQ session where we can spend a little more time on it and help you guys create your accounts um, for it. So we have, most of you don't have your My House key, that's okay. We will help you navigate through that. So here are our poll results, 65% of you all don't, but we're that's okay, we'll get you started and situated. So this is perfect, you're here getting this information. And those that you have it, you're one step ready to keep going. So how it works, you're gonna create your My House Use account. So we'll, we'll go through that in a moment and then you'll enter a drawing. You'll get an application ID, which I will show you how to do. You enter the drawing. Um, once the drawing opens, which will be opening up tomorrow, you'll have two weeks to apply. Now, after the drawing um, entry deadline, you would be entered in as a backup applicant. So we'll go through the rank list first. So the rank applicants will be sent to the project. Once the drawing has been closed, the rank list of applicants will be sent to the project that will reach out to the ranked applicants in order. And then once your name is next on the list, the project will reach out to you. They're gonna ask you to complete whatever paperwork the project needs to confirm you're qualified to then at that moment um, to live there and then the eligibility um, from the affordable program. So once they do their tenant screening, they'll let us know. And then from there, we're gonna determine if you're eligible for the program. Once the unit has been filled, the project will send House Keys a copy of the lease agreement. So if they fill that unit, they'll send us a lease agreement. The project will approve your file according to your lease signing. And once the lease has been signed, the project will provide us a copy of it. And we know now at that point, that unit has been filled and it's closed. So, and then if we come down to here, we'll show you how to get your rental file, what package, what information is going to be asked of. Now, this is a little more of a high level, a little process of what we do. So once we get your file, you have your, your, your drawing, you're going to also have to require to upload your file to your file cabinet. No later than this file submission deadline. So we're going to go over what those deadlines are going to look like. We're going to find this information. So we're going to go on a field trip live to the sites. Um, if you're entering a drawing after the entry deadline, you'll be added to the backup list. Um, but you can still submit so they're not able to find a tenant with the initial ranking. When you upload your file to the file cabinet, these are the documents that you're going to need for initial fee. Have your application form, two most recent tax returns, your bank statement minimum of three months, and three months worth of pay stubs that you need to have uploaded to your file cabinet. So they can at least start to review your file. If you have those four minimum things, then the file will go to the underwriter. The underwriter will if will review your file, make sure there's nothing missing. If there's anything that they deem they need understanding or need further, they will send you a needs list, which will be the initial review by the underwriter, which is step four. Um, all the information we're gonna be asking will be on the document checklist, which I will show where to find and what the documents are on there. Um, and they'll send you a need list depending on any of those items are missing. Now, the final step is that your final review and you're approved. If you are approved, your file will be sent back to the project to coordinate lease signing. Now, if you are denied, you can always appeal, but it's not going to hold up the other applicants because we're going to continue moving forward during that process. Okay, so now we're going to go to the live site. We're going to show you where you find some information. Uh, Y'all see my, my live page, my uh, San Luis Obispo page? Sorry, anyone? Just wanna make sure it moved. Sabrina, do you see the page? Just making sure. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So this is for the San Luis, um, City of San Luis um, page. This is where you can find information. Um, when there's rental opportunities, which is going to be coming soon, will be the summit. Um, this is where you'll get a lot of information. These are going to be studios. This is the rent amount, which is 956, and it's for very low AMI. 
Remember these numbers, because we're gonna go in a little more detail. I'm just kind of showing you where this information is. Everything you will need about to know or understand about the property will be down here as well. The entry to deadline will be 816. We'll be opening the drawing. Um, estimated they're releasing it today. It's supposed to be released tomorrow, so they might have released it early, so you'll be able to enter it. We'll find out right now when we go to My House Keys account. You have until the 16th to enter. Um, it's going to be a ranking method. We'll be posting the results around the 26th. And then your file request deadline is going to be 831. So you have until August 31st to submit your files. These dates are very important, especially if you don't enter your files on time. Because then if you don't enter your file on time, you will, doesn't matter where your ranking is, you will automatically be, become a backup. So please be sure to enter your files. So we're going to go over what that looks like. Um, this will be drawing entries, complete files by the deadline will be added to the processing list because this is where they'll get their list. I wanted to show you this because this is a little cheat sheet. This is everything that you know need to learn about this property or this particular listing here. It gives you the total amount, so there's gonna be 12 studios, um, the approximate square footage, the minimum household size is one, maximum is two. Of course, it's gonna give you what that AMI. This is the income category, which is very low, which is a 50% AMI. Do you have a question? Well, okay, we're gonna go over right now what the ranking method means. Um, I just have that question. So right now I will, don't have any current live um, ranking methods, but if you give me a moment, I will pull up a sample of what one looks like and I can explain to you how that would work and as well as what those preferences are gonna be for the city of San Luis Obispo. But we're going to get that information here where you can find that as well. So um, this is where we're going to get. So this is going to be the maximum household income. So remember, when we're looking for eligibility, we're making sure you're not over this income. The property requires two times the rent. Um, here it says three times the rent. So I'll double check. Um, Haley or London, I am so sorry. Is it two times the rent or three times the rent for the minimum gross annual income? It's three times. Okay, so it's gonna be three times the rent is going to be the minimum for the annual gross income. So we have, this is the minimum that you need to be making. So we have this information here for you. Um, so this is your little cheat sheet. This is gonna give you all the information and thank you so much for your answer. And, um, so you can get this information here. Um, if there's parking space available, guest parking, elevators, insurance, anything you need to know will be on here. If there's utilities included, what's not included, other amenities, it is a fully furnished, which is awesome. Um, it's near the school. So it gives you a lot of information here to be able to find. If we have a point of contact, the information here as well, the drawing. Here we're going to give you again these important dates. So if you're not sure, this will give you everything you need. We'll click here to be able to assign. And we can even click on here. That brings us to this page. So this is how you're going to put your packet file together. This will be your application that you'll be able to download that you'll need to fill out. That's going to be part of your file, um, as well as the tenant screening will be done by the property and they will send it to us, but it is part of having your file ready. So, and that would be after, because they will give us the tenant screening when you have passed their qualification. This is gonna be your checklist. Now, this is gonna be the information that the underwriter is gonna be looking for and is going to be needing. I know it looks kind of scary because there's a lot of pages, but remember this, we do help with a variety of different households. So some of these things might not pertain to your household. 
So going through these and start collecting, especially knowing that these files are going to be due by August 31st. So you're going to have to get your application ready, get your checklist as part of one of them, having your IDs, getting your, your pay stubs together, getting your bank statements together. If there's any minor under 17, you'll need a birth certificate. Um, getting your tax returns are going to be um, part of it. If you are self-employed or a 1099 contracted and, and since if you do Uber, DoorDash, any of that, you'd be considered self-employed. You would need a profit and loss statement with this particular wording on it, and it has to be notarized and it'd be year to date. Um, as well as if you are getting financial aid, how much are you receiving year to date? What's expected to receive in the next 12 months? That's gonna be part of it knowing that it's near school. So this is really good for students nearby. So at looking for this kind of information. So start going through this. I know it's still early. I know that it's still time flies, but start looking at the information that's gonna be asked for you because they're going to look for your W-2s or your 1099s. So collecting this information is very vital, but this gives you some time, but this is what we're gonna be collecting. Uh, let's go back to our little cheat sheet, because a little cheat sheet gives you all the wonderful stuff you need, plus it gives you the links where to go. Now we're gonna go here for the city preference. So this is the city of San Luis's preference in the Summit Apartments. So the preference one is to live in the county of San Luis Obispo or employed in the city of San Luis Obispo. So these will have priority versus everyone else. Every Anybody else can enter, but the people that live in the county or employed in the city will have a priority one prior to everyone else. Now, give me one moment. I'm gonna pull up an example of what that would look like. I mean, I do apologize. Um, I'm just trying to pull up because I know somebody had an ex an, a, a question on what that looked like. Um, okay. Um, this is part of one of my other decks, but I just wanted to kind of show you because it, it will show what I mean. So are you able to see the ranking list slide that I have? Serena, yes. Anastasia? You guys yes. see it? Okay. Yes. So yes. perfect. So this here is going to be this their initial ranking, right? Now this is the final ranking. So everyone here tiered one. So for this example, we're going to say that everybody here is lives in the county of San Luis Obispo, or they work in the city of San Luis Obispo. So number two now became one because number one didn't have a ranking or a preference. So number four then became number two. So your initial ranking list is gonna be the tiebreaker. And that's how the final rankings will go. So as you can see, 98 now became number 16 because they had the same preference. I hope that kind of clarifies on how the ranking list is going to work. So this is what it's meant by the ranking method. It is a lottery. So it's a random number that you're assigned. Then we're going to apply those preferences um, in that sense that that's what's going to determine the final ranking. So everyone that has a final ranking of one is going to go above everyone else, but their initial ranking is what's going to determine what, what place they are in the final. Okay. I just wanted to kind of show you that really quickly. That's how that rank list works. And here we go back. But see, this is where you can find all this information that you're going to need. So that's why I wanted to show you where to find all of this because this is gonna give you everything you need on where to find these documentations, um, even when the results are gonna be posted, you can even click will be the 26. They'll bring you back to their site, which is right here, the summit and it gives you everything you need. 
So just kind of wanted to show you where to find this information for you all. Perfect, okay. So now that I've shown you around here, you can also, if you're needing to get started, I call it the little hamburger right here. Um, you can also, this is where you're gonna get that information on the rental program. You click on here. And again, this will give you all the information, um, past orientation slide decks that we have. Create your My House Keys account profile. We can click on to here and it'll take you to the site. This again, will take you to that other site where to package your rental file. And then your exhibits would also be linked here. Since we already attached, I know they're not showing here um, because it's only for the summit. When you go to the actual site for the summit, you go into that little cheat sheet. That's where you're going to get that exhibit E that you would need to fill out. These are just the same exhibit A's are just explanation of your deposits. B, if somebody had a zero income affidavit. C is any information that we might need. So it's just a general letter. And D is just release of ortho. Um, release of authorization of information, um, especially working with the property and we're working with the city, releasing that information is what we have here. So now we're gonna go to My House Keys account. I've already created my account, so it's not gonna help. If you need me to go step-by-step -step on how to create an account, join me for an FAQ um, session either Friday, tomorrow at noon, or you can join me on Saturday at 10 a.m. and I can create, I'll get some more test accounts so I can show you from the very beginning. But here you would create an account. I've already created mine. So you would type in your email. Again, make sure you're using an email that you're going to be monitoring because this is how we're going to send communication to you. This will be how the property will get communication to you because that's the email that we'll be providing for them as well. So please make sure it's an email that you utilize because if the property can't reach you, they will skip you and keep moving forward as well if they're not able to get a hold of you because we do need to keep moving forward. So you'll create your password. So it has to be at least eight characters, lower, uppercase, and special characters. Type your first and last name. And then you would create an account. You'll get a code emailed to you and you would type in this verification code. Again, if you need a little more assistance with that, please join me tomorrow or Saturday and we can go through that in a little bit more detail. Now I'm going to sign into my little test account. I'll do one because there's only one that I've done so far on it. So when you log in, this is what it's kind of look like once you've created your account, it'll be your dashboard. So when you come to manage your household, so if there's an additional member of your household, this is where you would add them. You would add your member. And then here is where you would add your income as well. You would add it depending on what type. If you're not quite sure what it's meant, because some people have, if they get social security or a pension, retirement account, um, if you're self-employed, 1099, you, you can click and who, uh, hover around them and it'll give you a little more information on what, so if you get child support or spouse support, disability, um, affidavit, if that means if somebody is a certain member, if you're over 18, but you're not currently working or earning um, income, that would be your zero income affidavit. Or if um, um, not getting anything, no income, if you're planning on earning or they're providing a gift. So all that information would be here. Now, this is the program center. So this here is how you're gonna get that request application ID. Remember that application ID is gonna show you where you're ranking. If I go back here, this is the number, this is for ownership, but this is gonna be the number that is gonna show because we don't post anybody's names, what your application ID. So I'm gonna show you right now how to what it's gonna look like for like for San Luis, that application ID number. So we're gonna click here, we do, like I said, we represent multiple different cities. So we're gonna look down and we're gonna request for the city of San Luis Obispo's rental. So it's gonna look like this blue. We request it. 
And it's going to ask you a question. Do you work in the city of San Luis Obispo uh, exclusive men's colony in Cal Poly? Uh, no, I don't. So that's one question that they'll ask you apply. And then you'll, you'll click submit and now you have your application ID. So this would be the, the number that you would look for because this is gonna be the number you'll put on your application when it asks for it. This is gonna be the number that will show at the final ranking. So you can see, you'll still get an email letting you know, um, but you can always come and look to see where you are you fall as well. But once you get this application ID number now, now you can go into your drawings. Since I had a couple. So right now, of course, we only have is the city, uh, the summit, which the deadline to enter is going to be the 16th. So it is open now that you'll be able to enter. You'll be able to enter the drawing. It gives you that it's a very low Again, it gives you the submission deadline for your files are here. It gives you when it's going to be published. So you have a lot of information. So this is where you can enter the drawing. Another way of looking at it is opportunities. This would be showing. Um, why can't I? Sorry, y'all. Oh, programs. So let's look for San Luis. So this is where you'll be able to enter the drawing because it's going to let you know um, there's going to be what it is. It's again, it's a studio, a one shower square footage. It's a very low. So you'd be able to enter to the drawing here. So it can show them individually. Here are the opportunities to enter. So it's just two different ways of looking at the information. If you want more information, you can scroll down. It'll give you what the different unit numbers are. And again, the site to go see the information. Now, this is going to be your file cabinet. Again, I know I'm going a little quick. I just wanted to kind of give an overview to show if you need a little more assistance with this, we can always help you more to come to join us or reach out to customer service at housekeys.org and I can set up some time and assist you. So this is your file cabinet. I kind of just put one documentation up. This is where you're going to upload all your documents. If you're not sure what kind of, you know, the checklist documents that you're going to need, this will be where you put your application information, your income, your assets. If you're trying to see what it means, the little, little square will tell you what it is, what it's asking for. Um, income is going to be your pay stubs, your tax returns, all of that would follow under income. So we click here, I'm gonna show you how to upload. You click on upload. Um, I have my little test files here. So you keep your little folder. I have like my exhibits I, I put on here. I have my check, there he goes, my checklist. So as you're collecting your documents, have them saved on your desktop as you're putting your stuff together, collecting it, then you can upload it. You can always come back and upload any time. You don't have to do it all at the same time either, but you can start working on your file now. Um, so this doesn't mean it's uploaded yet, y'all. You have to scroll down, click submit all documents. And this lets you know that your documents have now been submitted and you can view them. So once your documents are, have been submitted, you're able to view what that document looks like. This is what a zero income affidavit looks like. Um, you're able to download it. You can delete it. You're like, wait a minute, these are duplicates. I didn't mean to. You can take your file out. You can also move your files. As you can notice, this didn't pop up until I clicked on a file. So you can either download it, delete it, you can move it into the different buckets. And then you can also make sure you're linking it to your San Luis account. So that's how you're gonna um, upload. Please label your files. So if it's your rental application, have it labeled rental application. For example, we'll make this a, a bank account. If there's multiple people yourself, put just the name, put the name of the bank, last four digits of the account and then just put that date range since we're looking for three months of bank statements 
So put your bank statement date range so that way we have it set. Now, if you have a pay stub, if you have multiple jobs or just one, you can put pay stub and then put what the date range is for that particular pay stub. And again, if there's another person part of your household, put the name of the person, put pay stub, and then put um, what the date range of that pay stub is as well. So that way you can see. And if you're not sure, because sometimes I know I've forgotten to label stuff, you can always look at the little eye and it will show you what you have. Please, please, please make sure you're uploading PDFs. If you load anything but a PDF, we have to convert and that does take some time. So it would be very grateful if you please upload all of these as a PDF, make sure your files are labeled. It will make the process go a lot faster. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our little presentation. So this is my house key. So you're able to upload your files where you find your documentation um, and able to navigate. So we went on to my house key. So this is the definition per HUD. Affordable is a housing cost for lower income households. And it's divided in the state law as not more than 30% of the gross income with variations. The comparable federal limit more widely used is 30% of the gross income with variations. So um, it's typically no more than 30%. So this is what house keys we're gonna determine if your program eligible. We're gonna look at those income categories. We are underwriting to a maximum income limit based on the projected income that is expected to be earned over the next 12 months. The percentage of assets over 5,000, again, it could be, I conclude up to two and a half percent of the account value that would be towards it. That's all household members 18 of age or higher must document their income. Also, we're going to determine your occupancy standard. As we saw, the minimum is one, maximum is two. So if it's a household of three, you would no longer be eligible for the program because the maximum is two. Um, our standards are set for the opportunity. So we're making sure you're income eligible and it's meeting the occupancy standard. And this is who is eligible. Um, every county is different. So it's going to go acutely low, extremely low, very low low, moderate, and now there's even a new force called workforce. Um, because even in the area, we have skilled workers that are not able to afford housing. So now there is a new workforce. So tonight's um, opportunities that are available at the summit are for a um, very low, is what that is income category it is for. Now, this is a little table, so you guys can see your income limits and your households. So we're gonna take a little poll by looking at this to determine what would your household be when it came to um, income levels. So let's take a poll so we can answer. Just by looking at it, we'll take a few moments um, and see. We have quite a bit. We have a quite a bit of a mix. Uh, majority of tonight, everyone's with very low, which is within the program tonight. There's always opportunity, so it's really giving you some information. So we have uh, between low and very low. So we have a good um, mixture. So everyone tonight so but we do have a majority is between very low and low so these are our results for tonight so this is what our range is kind of looking like but this is really good to know and understanding um, with these income limits and showing you and where they are again if you remember with the little cheat sheet we went through that's going to give you that information to be able to go over 
not for what you all are here for tonight, is really understanding the new opportunity that's opening up. Um, well, actually opened up tonight. They opened it a little earlier, so y'all can still you can start entering tonight after to, after we get off this call um, for the summit, which just opened. It's an amazing little spot right across the school. And I would love uh, to have either Haley or London, if you want to talk a little bit more about the summit and what it has to offer. Yeah, absolutely. I would be happy to. Um, so we are a brand new um, housing located in close proximity to the campus, but also in a great location where right across the street is grocery stores, um, such as like CalFresh, as, as well as like a bunch of different food options. Um, Rite Aid's right across the street as well. So it is in a great location just overall. We do have quite a few amenities that not very many other apartment complexes in Slow have seen. Um, as you can see on the top left-hand corner there, we do have a pretty nice gym um, with a equipped with a rock climbing wall, a bunch of different um, equipment such as treadmills, um, the basic weight room as well. This is only getting a little bit of a glimpse of it. If you were to turn um, just around, it would be a whole nother weight room as well. So that's gonna be great. Um, this is going to be the floor plan in hand. So as you can see, the front door is going to be leading right into um, right next to that bathroom right there where that cursor is. Yes. And then you see the full bathroom um, right on the bottom of the tub there is going to be your in-unit washer and dryer, which is great to have. Um, that's pretty rare and slow as well. And then you're going to have your full kitchen with all appliances included. So refrigerator, oven, microwave, stove, dishwasher, all of that is going to be included um, along with a full XL bed and then a smart TV. And then you do have your little sitting area there with your two, um, you know, with your dining room table, as well as your two love seats. So it is great. You have all your different spaces that you need. Um, and it's just going to be overall a pretty great place to be. Um, so this is kind of where we are in location of Cal Poly, as well as San Luis Obispo, like the downtown area. Um, so we are, like I said earlier, in a pretty great location just as far as what's around you um, and not a far drive or walk for that matter to the downtown as well. Um, so here's pretty much all of our amenities just listed out. So like we mentioned earlier, all of our units are going to be completely furnished. So pretty much all you're going to be bringing is, you know, your sheets, your plates, silverware, those, that type of manner. Um, but as far as that big lunky stuff, that's all going to be there for you. Um, it's going to be 24 seven fitness center, as well as a yoga aerobic stance and spin studio. Um, there is, that is going to be on the other side, like I mentioned of that, um, that gym. Um, we do also have that um, rooftop entertainment space. So that's kind of what it means by the open air and entertainment space. And up there is going to be a multiple two to seating areas, as well as a large screen TV. Um, great for like watching the big game or, you know, watching your favorite TV show or movie. Um, we also have a study lounge or a work lounge that you're able to utilize. That's going to be 24 seven. Um, we also have private rooms in there. So if you, you know, don't want too much of a distraction, there's able to have that in there too. If your um, primary way of getting around is by using a bike, we also have a pretty nice bike storage that is controlled access. So only residents are going to be able to enter that bike lounge, nobody else. Unfortunately, we are completely sold out of parking, although um, there is automated indoor parking. So if you decide to renew, then we can go ahead and get you guys on there um, for next year. Um, but that is an uh, amenity as well. Perfect. Thank you. We just want to kind of go over. It is a studio, so the minimum occupancy is, of course, is one. Maximum is two. And again, these are going to be the maximum income limits. So 38,300 for one person, 43,800 for two. Oh, and again, the rent is going to be three times, not two times. So it's three times the rent. So I do apologize. I'll correct that before I send out the deck to y'all. So it is three times. That's why that little cheat sheet that I showed you earlier is the best thing to look at because it's going to give you all that information, what to find, what you need for that unit. And I'm just going to go live again just to make sure if you're coming to. Uh, let me click 
click on, again, for San Luis, go to rental opportunities for the summit, which is here now. Yay, y'all get the exclusive that it's open early so y'all can enter in now. This opportunity joins or ODN that you'll hear us say, this is gonna give you everything that you're gonna need to know even when it's showing what the minimum annual income that they're gonna be looking at. Of course, the dollar can be changed depending if there's a housing voucher, but all this is in here for you. So make sure the dates you need to remember, the deadline to enter, you have until the 16th to enter and having your file submitted by 831. If you do not have your file submitted, you will be skipped and will go into a backup. Those who have submitted their files, um, they're gonna still go in the order of the ranking, but if you're ranked number one and you did not submit your file, you lose your ranking spot and you'll automatically go into a backup. You, and submit, you can submit your documents and get ready, but making sure you have your documentation set. Again, this is gonna be for a very low unit, um, so 50%, there's going to be 12 student units available and three times the rent. So now, what questions do we have that we can answer? Um, do we have anything out there? I have a, a question from Evan. If selected, when would the lease start and how long is the lease? So this is a property specific question. Uh, yeah, that would be... Yes, so all of our leases are technically 11 and a half months. Our move-in date is going to be September 16th, and then we will have a move-out date of August 31st of 2023. Awesome. Um, we have, can someone contact me about student eligibility? Um, I might need a little more clarification on, on, on what you mean by student eligibility. Uh, are you asking what, what are the requirements or what are you looking? Because we're going to be looking that you meet the minimum in, or the maximum income. So if you're getting uh, financial aid or student aid, we're just calculating that can be included as part of your income. Um, but just understanding, I think, a little bit more detail on what that question is. And again, here is, you can also send that question directly to customer service at housekeys.org so we can get a little bit more information. Um, the, other span, uh, the other languages that we do speak, um, I speak uh, is Spanish. So if anybody's needing any assistance with another language, it would be Spanish. I'm not sure if that answers your question. So um, again, my house keys, so I saw earlier, so make sure you at the S19.com and that should take you to the site for um, house keys for the city of San Luis Obispo. And again, my house keys.com would be where you create your account. Um, can the lease be renewed in August is a question that we just got. That might be for the property. I, I think that would depend on when you, you they sign the lease, correct? When you would be renewing their leases? We allow renewal leases in August. So essentially it would just completely carry over. You wouldn't have to move out and move back in. Okay. Thank you. You guys have any so pet restrictions? So we do do a pet screening. So there is some restriction as far as year and breed on that. Um, but we recommend everyone just to submit their pet, pet and then the pet screening will either deny or accept it. Um, but that's like an, with through another program as well. Thank you. Um, okay, what, this would be, are you, are you going to be using my income starting January 2020? I'm no longer receiving that income. If you are, if you're no longer working at a company, then we would need to determine the information or a letter stating that you're no longer there. If any kind of income has changed, we need the letter from letterhead from your HR stating what your new income or what the income is. If you just got a new 
um, employment, then we would need an offer letter showing what your income is. If you don't have three months of pay stubs, if you just start it, we just need some information letting us know what your income is. So we have someone asking, where is parking for the residents? We have on-site parking, but we have sold out already for this year. Um, there is on-street parking, or I guess off-street parking, but around the streets of Slow on all sides of the properties, um, as okay. well as separate parking lots around that you're able to pay for as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Sabrina's answering that question. Uh, we have a question, will extremely low income housing be offered and slow? Um, at the moment, I don't have any information of any properties that are, are at the moment, but as we get it, we'll post some our sites. If you get an application ID, um, anybody that's registered for the rental program in slow, our San Luis Obispo, we will send that information as we get information out there. Um, we have a question, how much is parking? Parking um, definitely ranges um, as far as next year when that will be available. I'm not too sure, but this year it was 125 per month. We have, um, we do count unemployment um, income, but uh, is the question is, is, in, is unemployment acceptable as income for now? I also have a legal do document of indefinite reinstatement to my previous employer that was not temporary um, and was permanent. Okay, well, we have Anastasia typing the answer for them. Okay. So you, okay, I was the because you're working. So um, if you can send us, um, uh, Velia, if you can send those questions to customer service at house keys so we can, that's more of an, like an offline kind of question so we can further understand that. And it'd also be contacting, you would have to see what, the qualification or the requirements are for the property that would be with the property in that situation um, when it's regarding how their income works. Because um, we, we, we look for the maximum while well, they're gonna be looking for the minimum. But please send that information for you. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other questions out there? Okay. Um, for okay, we have a question. If someone doesn't get accepted to the summit, do their forms and applications carry to another property comes up? Um, the things that we'll share would be like your W-2s would cross over. Um of course, your ID will cross over, but every application is for an individual opportunity. So you would have to have a new a new application. You would need to have a new checklist. Um, those kind of documents 
would not carry over. And remember, we're going to be asking for the three months most current pay stubs as well as bank statements. So that kind of information would have to be updated. Here, oh, sorry. Here, let me give you. Yeah, email me. Um, if you email customer service, you can also put it on the subject line if you want attention to Danielle. Those emails do come to me as well directly, so you can always email at customer service at housekeys um, dot org. Um, and you, if you want them to be attention to me because I can help and assist, um, just put attention to Danielle and. I'll, they'll make sure that they get to me and I can follow up with any other questions you might have. Again, you can always join me for an FAQ session. Let me actually show you where to find these things. As well as join me for an orientation, which is goes in a lot more detail about understanding how affordable housing works and what it is. Um, and so it's a little more general, but it gives you a lot more information, more in depth than what we kind of went over today. So if you go to housekeys.org, which is our main site, and we go under events calendar, this will have all our general orientations that we have. I do have some city specific when it comes to their home ownership program. But as, as you can see, I did we did San Luis Obispo's home ownership program on Tuesday. Tonight we're doing the rental program. Um, but it's just more of an information page. We have all the FAQs that you can sign up for. Actually, if you just click on here. You can easily just go and register and you can choose different dates. If it doesn't work for you tomorrow, there are other dates that you can come in. Um, it's a very open forum. You are able to talk on, on during these forums um, where we can go into a little more detail, have a little more of a conversation depending on the information that you're needing. But it, this is gonna show you all the events that we have. We're actually getting September's up loaded. We're gonna have a little bit more information. We even have um, program workshops that are a little more in depth that give a little bit more information. So um, hope to see y'all come, come. If you're able to at least come to a general orientation that we're going over ownership and rental, but um, a little bit more of an overview of what the program is about and how affordable housing works. Also, if you ever want information, you go to House Keys Info, which we have a lot of little different information, little videos you can watch, um, income category limits, how affordable pricing works, um, past ones. We're going to be updating, adding more of our videos up here to upload. Everybody that joined tonight will send you the, ori the orientation, sorry, the information deck from tonight. So you'll be able to have that, have a little bit of, of key information as well. And we're coming back here. Um, the question we have, is there an opportunity to view the rental in person? That would be for you all. Um, Haley or London, do you guys allow any kind of property tours? We are still under construction, so we're not actually able to take anyone on to the site, but you're more than welcome to come to the leasing office. We have photos of what it's going to look like, the furniture that you'll get in the unit, um, videos, and then we'll be able to show you all of the different amenities as well. Thank you. Um, if we don't have any Further questions? I, I want to say on behalf of House Keys and the team, oh, we got one more question. What is the maximum amount of assets can an applicant have on their bank statements? That's not something we can tell you. There's really not, it, it's just what you have in your assets. We, we just, we count what's in your bank statement um, as part of your assets, but we, we can't. Some Daniel, hold on. Uh, some cities do have a maximum cap on how many assets you're allowed to have. I'm not sure. You can email me, uh, Sabrina at housekeys.org, and I can gather that information and see if there is a maximum uh, asset limit on there. But I believe that San Luis does not have a maximum set at this time. 
Okay. Yeah, there's only one city that I know that has a cap. That's why. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm trying to see if we have that information here. Let's see. House keys. Documents have to be seen before. Just so you know, we have a timestamp when we do get your document. So. Okay, I'm trying to see if we, I know we're still onboarding the city of San Luis Obispo. Um, we're still getting information. So I'm just double checking. Yeah, we don't have um, uh, up all the program guidelines. So once we have them, we'll update them on here as well as you can find that information once it's uploaded, it'll give you a program guideline. We look under the rental. As we get those, um, we'll be uploading them here and I'll give you all that kind of information that the city, but like Sabrina stated at this point, they don't have a cap then. The summit is the first project that we are fully working through with House Keys in San Luis. We have other opportunities that will be coming aboard. You can keep just checking in on myhousekeys19.com to see any opportunities that come up available in the future. Uh, luckily, the summit we have here, this is our first project we are opening from scratch with them. So. We appreciate them showing up, but keep an eye out on that website and see other opportunities that are coming. So we have a question, because um, we're still gathering more information when it comes to the home ownership side for the city of San Luis Obispo. As we have the information, that's why you're not able to see it because they haven't been released versus the reason with rentals you can they released it today um so that's why you're able to to see what opportunities are available so for for home ownership they haven't been released yet we'll be giving out more information as we get it that's why we've changed the dates on the sites okay so when is the move-in date for the summit since it's under construction and how long does the process take? The move-in date is going to be September 16th. Um, we're going to have kind of like a move-in process and we'll kind of outline that in like a, in an email, but pretty much like you'll have like a time in which you can move in um, and then you can use, use off whatever after that to move in and move your stuff in. Does that answer the question? I can also elaborate on that. Yeah. Um, I think they may have been asking about the application process. Um, it's a pretty quick, easy online process on our end. Um, there is some information that we'll need and that will be able to be filled out completely online. Um, we would send a link to your email and then you would be able to create an online portal to fill out all of that as soon as we have your information. And um, everything that we need, we'll be able to generate the lease documents. And then after those are signed is when we run the screening process. Um, that can usually take up to 24 hours is kind of the longest that I've seen for background checks and things of that nature. But most of the time they do come back immediately. So as long as you get the application finished, it can be a pretty much one day process on our end. Um, for the house keys end of things for your know, eligibility depends once we get the approval or the site or the approval notice from the property to be able to continue with your file if all your documentation is is up and current and uploaded to your file cabinet the process is typically two weeks or less now, if you don't have all your information and we have to keep going back and forth, that can extend it, but we give you three days from when you get your documents. If you don't, we'll give you an, an additional um, to get it, but you have to have all your, your documents uploaded. If you have that checklist, it's a pretty quick process. Um, so that is really key. Please um, go through that checklist again, this document checklist right here because these are the documents they're gonna be asking for you. Um, uh, Anastasia, you're, you're a compliance underwriter. 
what would make it easy for you to get the process moved quicker? Um, what would make it easier? Just if we had um, everything accounted for, so everything that they are submitting that they have, um, that it is accounted for with documentation. Okay. Okay. Um, if do we have any other questions that we can answer um, regarding the rental program tonight? Um, this is our, our info session that we have tonight specifically for rental, but please reach out to customer service. We can always um, help you further with any other questions as well as that you might have. But this is the these will be the the documents that the underwriter is going to be looking and checking for that you have uploaded. Okay, do we have any other questions? If not, I want to be respectful of everyone's time this evening. Um, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the summit staff, to London and Haley. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, as well as having Sabrina and Anastasia here tonight, which we're very lucky. And on behalf of House Keys, thank you for joining us this evening and letting us share this information with you. Please join us for an FAQ. If you have any further um, questions that we can answer, um, um, or you can just email us at customer service at housekeys.com and we can further assist you. So on behalf of the team, thank you. And until next time, please email us your questions at customer service and we can um, further um, answer them for you. Okay, so we just have a couple of questions that we're going to answer. Okay. Okay. Thank you, y'all. Have a, a good night. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.